Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing Dehancer Pro, a film emulation plugin available for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut. My review will be on Resolve. In my opinion, this is the best film emulation software out there currently, and I've tried a few. This gives me the highly sought after film look without the countless hours of color grading. The film stock library is huge with plenty of unique looks as well as different film prints. Dehancer can be utilized by colorists at all different levels, but I feel you are going to get the best results with the higher skill level. This is how I use Dehancer in my DaVinci Resolve workflow. I start by building a simple node tree where I separate nodes like exposure, saturation, contrast, skin tones, and masks. Dehancer recommends that you use a noise reduction node first and a sharpened node last. So I will place Dehancer before my sharpened node. There's two ways to do this. You can use color space transform to transform to one of these color spaces, or you can choose your camera profile, which is Blackmagic Design. We use the Blackmagic Pocket 6K in the film Gen 5 color space. Now I am going to choose my film stock. There is a huge list to choose from. I am going to choose the Kodak Vision 3 stock. I am choosing the 250D because it looks great in diffused daylight. Dehancer actually shows you what stocks look best in different lighting situations on their website. Next I like to turn my film grain off so I can start with a clean image. I am choosing the Kodak 2883 print because I love this look and it was actually used in movies like The Joker and Creed. I also like to keep the stock and print as the same manufacturer, that's my personal preference. A lot of things on here were taken care of in my previous nodes, but there are plenty of options to color within this plugin. The preset of film grain is kind of heavy handed in my opinion, so I am going to switch this to positive. I like the look I am getting here, and there are plenty of controls to get the perfect film grain look you are looking for. From my understanding, this grain is not an overlay. It actually integrates with your footage, so it looks that much better. Here is my final result with this quick grade. A couple of additional tools I did not use for this grade are compression, halation, and bloom. Film compression allows you to fine tune highlights and bring them closer to midtones, which is a must when working with high dynamic range footage. Halation allows you to add a reddish-orange halo around bright light sources and overexposed areas. To me, Bloom gives you that Black Pro Mist filter look without having to bake that look into your footage. Other tools like Film Damage and Gate Weave are really for people that are going for that hardcore film look. First, I want to say Dehancer is not sponsoring this video. They actually reached out to us asking for an honest review. And in my opinion, Dehancer Pro is amazing and it is the best film emulation software out there. It turns sharp digital looking footage into film as promised. With that said, there really isn't anything negative I can say about Dehancer. If you want to check it out for yourself, there is a link in the description. Use our promo code and save 10%. Thank you for watching.